This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little about growth stages in corn because it is a little confusing now. A lot of people over the years have talked about leaf stages, and we talk about leaf stages too, but what we're saying with leaves means something a little different than what a lot of people mean. Okay, well, first of all, here's the whole thing. When you say <laughs> leaves, well, that, that gets to throw people off because they say, well, I can kind of see maybe three different leaves here, right. but you're calling it a one collar right. corn plant. Well, the, here's the thing. When you talk about leaves, we all know what a leaf on a corn plant is, all right? That's easy enough. But at what point does it become a leaf in terms of the growth stage on that plant? In other words, can it be just popping out? Can it be halfways out? Is it fully out? What does it really mean? So to make things simple for everybody, because that part gets a little confusing, what a lot of universities have gone to and a lot of the ag chemical companies have gone to is the same thing we've gone to where we count the actual leaf once it gets a collar on it. And so we count even the very first leaf that emerges from the soil once it gets a collar on it, it counts as a leaf stage. When that leaf is fully developed, it will put a collar on, kind of a hardened off part right at the bottom of the leaf where it hooks up to the stem. That looks a lot like a shirt collar. And once you have that collar developed, then we know that we've got a fully developed leaf stage. So with the corn plant, it can have anywhere from, who knows, 10 fully developed leaves, to maybe even 20 fully developed leaves. It all just depends on the variety, the growing season, everything else. But the point is, especially early in the season, we're very concerned about counting leaves and counting these leaf collars because certain herbicides are safe to spray early in the season, but they're not safe to spray a little bit later. So we'll give the example of Banvil, or dicamba is the active ingredient, for example. With Banvil, you're fine to spray that corn up until the V5, vegetative stage five, or in other words, five leaf collar stage. Once you get past that point, you're no longer safe to spray. So regardless of whether a farmer cuts the rate down to 10% of the normal use rate doesn't make any difference. The point is once he gets past that V5 or fifth collar stage, he can no longer spray Banville. So this is why it's so important for every farmer to know how to count leaf stages and how to count them correctly. Well, one other important stage happens very early in the life of a corn plant at V2 to V3. So two to three collar corn, the ear shoots are already being initiated. So farmers have to be very careful with their corn at a real early stage because it's already beginning those reproductive stages and damaging that corn plant now could have an impact on yield later on in the year. Well, once again, it's really important for farmers out there to know how to count leaf stages and understanding that you don't get to the next leaf stage until that leaf develops a collar on it. And we would also call those leaf stages vegetative stages. So in other words, if it's vegetative stage five, that's at the five leaf stage or five collar stage. And as corn accumulates more heat units or more heat out in the weather, then a new leaf is formed. So on warmer days, those leaves are gonna come even that much quicker. The other thing with warmer days is weeds are gonna come that much quicker, like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 